do that with a short explanation. We'll start from the beginning. First things first, you have your username and password. You enter it into the system, it's already saved. Login. You click your new procedure to start a new procedure. Then over here you have your patient, which you click to scan the patient barcode, patient sticker. Place it in the middle of the, the area here, as close to the plus sign as possible. Green light means I can take it off and that I've got the, the picture. The number will show here on the on the screen in the procedure number. You also have here the name of the hospital and which room your the operating is happening in. Next, you click on scan item and you'll be able to start scanning. The light here turns on. And over here, as you can see, this is a procedure that already happened. Everything that has been scanned is listed. Nothing gets deleted. Everything is saved on the computer for us to check. You can click on them see the images of what's been scanned, you have the details of everything, you have your manufacturer name, you have the catalog ID, your description, you have your batch and your expiration date. All very important information that to have and of course you have your image and uh, of course where there isn't the image that's where we have the RFID scan which is uh, a bit less relevant. But now if I want to scan something, I'll take, I have your four items prepared place them on the, the area, wait for the green light, remove. I don't wait to see if it's been processed, nothing. I just continue. It's just my job, I'm the nurse, I'm here to just scan everything. And done, we'll add it to the screen in the next one. And as you can see, it identifies it as it goes along. You don't need to wait for it to identify to, to get the next one. And then we can even check them now to make sure that the things were identified correctly. I see here, this is the manufacturer Angio Dynamics Incorporated, Angio Dynamics. We have here the, the reference number, which is 06597050. That's the catalog number, the description. These are all the information that's now saved on our, uh, on our, in our database with the description. We have the lock, which was also read through here. As you can see also the expiration date, 4th of 2023, and over here also, 4th of 2023. So I go in here also, I can see all the details. It's a bit compressed here on the screen, but uh, it's more so for, uh, for back office purposes. I can zoom in, I can see everything, make sure, double check that everything's correct. And you can see the barcodes clearly, just to make sure that everything's also accurate. And that's that. And let's say you need to delete something, you scan something by accident, big X. Just click and that's it.